body bags were whore lies. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to week 107 here on Body Bags. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Alrighty, yeah, week 107 is y'all, and it's Sunday. And yeah, I got another review for you guys. Um, this one right here is from 2015. It's from very, very independent, low-budget horror director, uh, Sean Weathers. Um, he did a film back in the day, I think in 1998, called They All Must Die. Uh, it's a very, very controversial uh, rape revenge film that's super, super racist, um, which I actually kind of enjoyed. Uh, he's went on to do lots of really, really micro-budget type films and stuff. Uh, if you're familiar with his work, you know that a lot of his films have like social relevance and stuff. And with that said, uh, this one right here is from you know 2015, of course, and it's called The Fappening. Now, that title you probably recognize from uh, from social media. It was. Um, coined this term after the 2014 uh, huge hacking of like hundreds of uh, you know famous celebrity cell phones and of course the pictures that were on these cell phones were um, you know distributed on the internet and stuff you know from lots of famous actresses and stuff and of course they were naked pictures and you know compromising pictures and stuff and it was dubbed the happening and then of course these pictures made people whack off and it was dubbed and it became the fappening uh, so this movie is actually based on that real life um, incident. So with that said, getting to the plot of this one, uh, basically basically follows your main character, Alan Smithy, who is actually played by uh, Sean Weathers, who of course wrote, directed, and starred in this film, edited this film. He pretty much did absolutely everything that, ha that has to do with this film except for the music. Um, but anyways, Alan Smithy is a, uh, he's kind of like a struggling filmmaker um, in this movie. He's really kind of down on his luck and stuff. Uh, the thing with Alan Smithy is that he's pretty much a womanizer. He has sex with multiple and multiple uh, up-and-coming actors or actresses and stuff, and some that are already have made it and stuff. So he's basically just sleeping with every woman underneath the sun that has to do with the film industry. Um, of course, one day his cell phone gets hacked, and, you know, he is, you know, of course, when he was sleeping with this woman, he was filming them and taking pictures of them and stuff. So his cell phone gets hacked and all these pictures and uh, videos and stuff are leaked onto the internet, which ultimately not only crushes his career, but it also crushes a lot of the, uh, you know, the girls, uh, the actresses' um, careers also. Um, so now he's really trying to, you know, kind of bring himself up from the depths and it's really not working, you know, and he's really pissed off, you know, at the world and life. And of course, all these women are really pissed off at him. And he feels that the only way to kind of straighten out this is to go on a murder spree. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave the, uh, the premise right there. Yeah, so my thoughts on this one. Now I have to give it up to, uh, to Sean Weathers. Um, you know, not only, you know, writing this movie uh, and creating, you know, a very social relevant um, script because, you know, like I said, a lot of the films have to do with, you know, today's issues and stuff. And this is one, you know, he took a, a social media issue and, you know, made a film out of it. I really like that. Uh, with that said, you know, the script is, it is what it is, you know, it, it's, it's kind of clever at times, but the main problem with this movie, though, is really just the execution of everything. Um, I don't think that, uh, that Sean Weathers is overly the worst actor in the film. Of course, you know, he plays the lead actor, like I said, Alan Smithy. Um, it's a lot of the actresses that are in this film. It's just, it's just really, really poor acting, and it kind of takes you out of the film right away. Uh, the whole opening sequence, probably the first 15 minutes, is him just womanizing women, and there's a lot of sexually explicit scenes and stuff in the beginning of the film, and there's a lot of them kind of freaking out at him and of course once you know his cell phone gets hacked and these pictures and videos are exposed the women freak out more on him uh so you have a lot of scenes like that a lot of angry scenes and to me it just comes off super bad like um you know like i love my low budget cinema but the acting is really really poor in this film um and it's too bad because i really do like the whole idea of the fappening and stuff and you know the filmmaker down on his luck and you know and, you know things like that um but, you know, it's just too bad because it really executed kind of shitty, man. The acting's really bad. Um, you know, with that said, the whole story, I do like the premise. The structure of the film itself is kind of interesting. It kind of gives you, you know, his whole womanizing 
uh, situation in the beginning of the film, and then it kind of turns itself on itself, and it turns into a like a full blown type slasher film, you know. And there's one point in the film where it actually kind of gives you the reason why, or it kind of tells you why he turns into this and stuff after it's already been happening. So the structure is kind of interesting. It's got this really weird flashback to it, and I'm just like, okay, that's really weird. Um, so the structure is a little odd too. You know, um, the film only runs 80 minutes, so it is a really quick watch, but I have to say it's really tedious. Um, you know, like I said, the acting is really bad. I think the editing in the film wasn't too bad, actually. It felt like a, sh uh, like a Sean Weathers film. The editing was pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. This one right here, it just it's had a good idea it just was not executed up to my part which is kind of a shame because i like these social relevant type films you know things that you can kind of relate to you know if you're if you're on social media you know as much as i am and stuff like that you know you feel like it's kind of relevant to you so watching something like this you're like oh yeah okay i can kind of relate to it and, you know i knew i knew the story i knew what was going on and stuff but unfortunately it's just not executed so well and like i said it, it kind of twists itself on its you know on its back and it turns into like a full-blown type slasher film now the effects in the film not really the greatest either I think that uh, some of the scenes actually weren't executed very well there's actually some cut scenes you just see you know the aftermath after there's not really a lot of gore there's a little bit of blood and stuff so the kill scenes not overly that great you know considering it turns into a slasher film and you know what do we expect in a slasher film you know to make it kind of a better film is you know the the significance of the kills themselves you know really kind of uh, you know new and enthusiastic kills with lots of gore and stuff those are the type of things that make a really good slasher film um, this one really kind of lacks that so unfortunate sorry my nose is really itchy um, but yeah you know it's just it's unfortunate because you know that could have kind of turned itself you know and made it for a little better rating and stuff another thing about this film I didn't really care for was the music actually I'm not a really big fan of listening to like metal music and stuff and like really aggressive type film uh, music in these type of films um, and with that said like I love metal and you know I love all types of music and stuff I love metal but just not these type of films I feel like it just takes you right out of it and at times it feels like a music video I always say that it feels like a music video at times and it's just I don't know those type of things you know you change up the music you know you put a little bit of better effects and stuff a little better acting you got a totally different film you know you keep the same story and yeah so not really a whole lot more to say about it. Uh, I didn't really care for it at all. Um, to be honest, like I said, it was very tedious to watch. It was a very tedious type film. Three out of ten. I'm gonna give it to him for you know creating you know this uh, this film out of uh, you know social you know out of a social relevant idea. I really like that, but wasn't executed up to my expectations and uh, just. Unfortunately, it just didn't really do much for me at all. So, The Fappening, you know, 3 out of 10. Check it out at your own risk. If you've seen any other of um, Sean Weathers' films, you pretty much know what you're getting yourself into. This one is very much like his other type of films. Um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for uh, week 107 here on Body Bags. See you next week. Peace out, homies.